Hello pagers, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be choosing our September TBR by playing another round of TBR Pockets. So September is actually a very eventful month considering all of the readathons that are happening. We have two major readathons that are happening. One is the Magical Readathon and the next one is Becca's Bookopoly. And I will be putting my TBRs for that too in this video. I actually made quite a few spreads in my September plan with me. It's actually Aurelian themed. It's a little sneak peek there, just a little sneak peek. But uh, you can check out my video. I did a whole plan with me regarding all the spreads that I made. But I do have my Aurelium TBR that I want to go through. And I also have my Bogopoly TBR, which I did play Bogopoly. I did film a clip about it. I'll like enter it in, you know, as the, TV, as the video progresses. But first I want to pick out my TBR pockets, see what the prompts are, try to fit the books for these prompts with the prompts of the other TBRs. I did see a lot of TBR videos and they do seem to be able to combine all the prompts and people won't have to read like so many different types of books, but hopefully we'll be able to do that. So let's just go through last month's TBR real quick. Um, I did change a few of the books that I chose initially, but I am a mood reader, so that's kind of expected. So yeah, let's go ahead to the first prompt, which was Forced Proximity. Initially, I picked, uh, I think, Anna Huang's new book, I think Twisted Games, for this, because, you know, it's a bodyguard romance, and they're always, like, in each other's faces, so it was technically Forced Proximity, but I ended up not reading Twisted Games. I wasn't really in the mood for it. But instead I picked Annie Song by Katherine Anderson for this situation. This book was absolutely amazing. It took me by surprise. I first heard about this book on Lacey's channel, Lacey Book Lovers, and she said this was one of her favorite books of the year. And I was like, oh, that's like a big deal. So like maybe I should pick it up. And I got like a used copy on Amazon for like pretty cheap. So I thought like, okay, fine, maybe I'll just pick it up. I also have an audiobook for it. And this was just absolutely beautiful. If you are a fan of Never Seduce a Scott, I think you'll really like Andy's song. It does have very similar elements to it. Like both of the heroines are deaf. Both of, you know, society both think that they're both like mentally abled and not like just deaf. So it is, it is very like similar in those sets, except this is like set in America and this is set in like Scotland, like a little bit farther back in history, but I really like both of these books. And yeah, that was my first book. The second book was New Series, and for this I picked Secrets of a Summer Night. This is the first book in the Wallflower series by Lisa Klepez. I know, I can't believe I haven't read this series. I've read the Ravenel series, I've read her um, Bow Street men's series and I've read a lot of like these like spin-off standalone stuff but I haven't read her Wallflower series I know I'm like such a fake fan like you know who am I <laughs> so yeah I'm not gonna like go into this entire synopsis because I will be talking about this in my wrap-up I know I'm sorry I just rambled on about Annie's song and I'm not really gonna talk about the other books but like this video is gonna be pretty long since I have to talk about three readathon so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip on the synopsis but I did read this book and I did finish this prompt. Uh, the next book was a Kindle book and for this I think I initially picked like Her Soul to Take by Har Harley L LaRue? LaRue? Sorry. Sorry about that. But um, I ended up not I read that book but I didn't finish it so instead for this one I picked The Casanova by Teal Swan. Oh my god. This book was also amazing. I loved it. <laughs> um, it's an office romance. It's like kind of enemies to lovers. And it is actually one of my favorite books in the Mild Brother series. I know a lot of people were disappointed about this book. And a lot of people didn't like the book. Or they were like had mixed feelings and stuff. But I loved this book. And I think it's my favorite. And I really wish I had a physical copy. But physical copies 
for these books are really just not available here in India but maybe someday I'll be able to get my hands on a physical copy of this one because I love this I gave this five stars so the next book the next prompt was series continuation for this I picked carnal urges by I think JT Gessinger. This is like the second book in her Queens and Monsters series. It's a mafia romance. It's like a kidnapping romance. It it was good. I actually read quite a bit of this like quite a few months ago. I read like 60% of it I think back in July and I just didn't pick it up again for the longest time and then I just picked it up like now and just finished it it was a good book I gave it four stars I don't know like I don't really get the hype for the series that much like I liked it but I don't know if I'll continue on with the series even though I did like this book but I don't know maybe I'm just feeling a little burnt out with mafia romances I've just read so so many at this point and I read too many of them in a row so I feel like I need to branch out to different genres because like I said I am feeling I have been feeling really slumpy for the past two months so yeah this this wasn't really I didn't really like this as much as a lot of other people I will talk about it more in my wrap up but yeah that's the verdict on that and then we have our last prompt which was seasonal and in the beginning for this book I actually picked I had two picks for this and I was supposed to either read It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey or I was supposed to read uh, You and Me on Vacation. But the problem here came that these two books actually came like really, really late in the month, like my physical books. They like this came on like August 30th. No, this came on August 30th and this came on like August 29th and I just didn't have time to read them. So I kind of just vetoed these. Maybe I'll like read them this month. I think I'm definitely going to be reading It Happened One Summer this month. But for this book, I actually ended up reading The Deal by L. Kennedy. Um, technically, it is seasonal. We're like going, it's like the end of August. We're going September, like school is starting. And this is like a college romance. And everyone's like going back to college and going back to school and things like that. So, I don't know, it, it felt fitting. And also, like, the color scheme of this cover is also very, like, summer, spring, late autumn. Like, I know I'm reaching here, okay? Like, I understand that I'm reaching here, but just, just let me be. <laughs> so, yeah, that is my wrap-up. Oh, my gosh, we're already, like, 13 minutes in. What am I doing? But, yeah, let's just go ahead with our September TBR. Okay, so we'll just do a little shuffle here and we'll pick our first oops, card. God, I really hope I don't get like any like plus twos or fours. Like, ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to start with four draws and we'll just see where things go. Okay, so. First draw, a seven, okay. Friends to lovers. Ah, uh, okay, a friends to lovers historical, <laughs> okay. What do I have as friends to lovers? I feel like I read all of my friends to lovers. I think for this one, I'm going to read Broken Wing by Judith James. This is actually a historical romance and it is about a man who was forced, our hero, he was forced into uh, sexual slavery and he was like forced to be a prostitute and while he was in this brothel that he was working at there was this little boy that was like kidnapped and brought to the brothel and our hero actually protected this boy like you know and he so he was you know kept innocent and he didn't have to do all of these heinous acts and he took it upon himself to like do his you know duties or whatever but that boy actually ended up being like this heir to a dukedom. So both the boy's brother and sister like come to 
save him but then the boy was so young when he was kidnapped that he doesn't even remember his siblings so he's like oh i don't know who you are like you need to like help my protector as well who's the hero the hero is taken by the siblings not taken like you know he's given like a position as like a governor like a governess but like a male governess and he's just like okay you can stay for a year and just figure yourself out and then you're free to go so he's like okay fine and this is a romance between the sister of that little boy and this man and apparently it's very emotional and very heart-wrenching but um, I do think that it is a slow burn romance and I do think they are first like kind of friends and then they slowly turn into lovers. So I think this will work for that. So yeah, broken wing for the first prompt. Okay, second book. Is that a, is, that's a nine. Okay. Dark cover. Okay. Dark cover has to be a romance. Hmm. Dark cover. I think for this one, I'll either pick either Gothicana or Her Soul to Take. I know that both of these books were part of previous TBRs, and I haven't read them yet. But since the Magical Readathon is coming up and it has a lot of prompts, you know, it has like a school setting prompt that is like a Gothicana is like a dark academia romance. It also has like a supernatural prompt and, you know, Her Soul to Take has a lot of supernatural elements in it. So I do have both of these on my Magical TBR. So I think for this one, I'm going to keep Her Soul to Take for the dark cover. Because I really do want to finish this book this month and I am really liking it and I'm kind of invested in the characters and I'm really excited for the next few books in the series. So I'm going to keep her soul to take for this one and I will finish, I, I promise, I will finish this book this month. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's just go on to our next prompt. Two. Oh, uh -huh. all the angst. Okay. I think for this prompt, I'm going to pick The Mistake by Al Kennedy. This is the second book in the Off Campus series, and this is does seem to be like a second chance romance. And like, you know, they had like a bad separation type of situation, and... I think he wants her back, so I think there's gonna be some really nice angsty moments and hopefully some groveling, because you know, we love groveling on this channel. So I think I'm gonna pick this book for that. Okay guys, so the fourth and final prompt. <laughs> oh, oh you fucker. Okay. Okay, I guess we're doing six. We're doing six props. Sorry guys, this is not our final draw. Okay, fourth book. An eight. Eight, and this is contemporary. So yellow is contemporary. Favorite author. Ooh. Favorite author, my favorite contemporary author. So I'm gonna use one of my wild cards. I think I have like three wild cards left uh, from my previous months. So basically a wild card is that I can change the color or basically the genre of the card if I tend to use it. So I'm going to change this genre from contemporary to fantasy, so I'm going to change it to blue, and I'm going to pick uh, Silver Silence by Melanie Singh. I really want to read this book this month, and I'm really excited to read it. I still have to read um, Allegiance and Honor by Melanie Singh, which is the last book in the Side Changing series, but I don't really want to. I kind of just want to skip 
that book and just like read this book maybe like read like an in-depth synopsis of that book like a spoilery synopsis so i kind of know what's going on i can just like dive into this one but i am really excited about this and nalini saying even though like not all of her books hit me the same but nalini singh is still one of my favorite authors and she has written some of my favorite series ever side changing series is probably one of my favorite series and i'm really excited to branch into the side changeling trinity series so i think i'll be reading this book for that prompt favorite author okay we have two more draws because i picked a plus two fuck my life this is what happens okay the fifth book follow five another contemporary a lot of contemporaries Ooh, uh, dark romance we love to see it we really really love to see it okay so i think for this i might pick the dawn by Serena Ackroyd. I am a little bit into this book. I did start reading it, but I didn't finish it. This is a mafia romance series, and it is a spin-off from Serena Ackroyd's like Five Point Mob series. This is like a spin-off of it. It's a duet. Um, the second book in the duet just came out, I think, last week. And you know, it's good so far. I don't know how, I don't know if I love, love it, but I am very intrigued by it. Okay, so hopefully this will be our last prompt, which is three. Oh, use this way. Three. Hyped. So like a hyped historical. Okay, I can work with that. Uh... I think for this one, I'm going to pick It Happened One Autumn by Lisa Kleypas. This is actually a really hyped novel. I think people like this just as much as they like Devil in Winter, which is uh, Sebastian St. James's book, which I have read. Um, I haven't read the entire Wallflower series, but I have read Devil in Winter because that was also a very hyped book, but this is almost as hyped as Devil in Winter. So I think it's going to be like an enemies to lovers type of situation. Our heroine is an American heiress and our hero is like a starchy duke and shenanigans ensue and apparently it's really good and really angsty. So I guess we'll see how this one goes. But I do really want to read this book this month. So hopefully we can put this in there. So yes, now let's go on to the Magical Readathon segment of this video. I'm really excited. I totally just went total ham. I generally, whenever the Magical Readathon happens, I go full on in the sense that I make like all sorts of spreads about it and things like that. So I'm really excited for this readathon. So we have our first prompt, which is The Novice Path, and this is to read a book with a map. And for this, I actually picked Gothicana because Gothicana does have a map in its book. It has a map of the school that the main character is going through. This is a dark academia romance. It is a student-teacher romance. Um, but yeah, it is, and it does also has these supernatural, like, ghosty elements to it. It's very spooky and very nice. I have started this book. I'm only, like, 20% into it, but I really like the atmosphere of this book, and it's very, like, autumn, like, very seasonal, you know, very appropriate for the season. The next prompt is Ashton Tree, and this is Priority TBR. And I don't, I honestly don't know because like I have so many books that are on my priority. Like I, I have, it happened one summer, like it happened one autumn is on my priority. Silver Silence is on my priority. Like I really want to, you know, read both of these books. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to put the Dawn by Serena Ackroyd. I do want to read that book and I am very, very excited for that book. 
and also because I'm using those two books in different prompts. So for this one, I'm just going to keep the Dawn. Uh, I do think I'm going to be picking up this book next and finishing it off. So, and then I think I'll want to like go ahead and read the second book, The Lady, as well. So I think for this one, for Ashen Tree, I'm going to keep The Dawn by Sue and Ackroyd. We will see what happens. The next we have The Mist of Solitude, which is to read a standalone. And for this, I actually picked Broken Wing by Judith James. Um, I think this is a standalone. It doesn't say that it's a series anywhere. Nobody's saying that it's a series. I'm pretty sure this is a standalone. So yeah, we're going to pick this one for the standalone prompt. The next prompt is Ruin of the Sky, which basically needs to feature ghosts or supernatural elements. And for this one, I'm going to choose Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue. Um, this book is so spooky and it has so many different supernatural elements to it. It has demons, it has gods, it has cults, it has witches. It's like really, really interesting and the premise is very fun and it's a really steamy book and I just I'm just really loving the vibes of this book so I'm gonna pick her soul to take for this prompt and the next is obsidian falls which is to read a thriller or a mystery hmm so for this one I think I'm gonna surprise some of y'all because this is a romance channel and I read romance but for this one I actually picked out an actual thriller which is The Maidens by Alex, Alex Michaelitis. This is the author of The Silent Patient. I did read The Silent Patient. Silent Patient is not really my, like it wasn't really my cup of tea for a thriller. I really like, you know, dark academia thrillers. I really like thrillers that are set in a school. They really fascinate me. And I was very intrigued by the premise of this book. And yeah, so I'll be reading, uh, hopefully I'll be reading The Maidens <laughs> in this book, in this month. But, you know, if I don't read this, I can always read like a romantic suspense. I can always read like A Bad Day for Sunshine. I'm sure there's a mystery in that book as well. But I kind of, I really want to get back into reading horrors and thrillers again because I did read, uh, what is it? Riley Sager's book last year what was that book home before dark and i really like that book and i also read mexican gothic and i also really like that book but i haven't read any horrors or thrillers since then so i want to get back into it so hopefully i like this one there are mixed reviews for this one so i'm kind of scared but yeah it is very pretty though and hopefully i'll like it so yeah the maidens for that prompt the next prompt is the Tower of Ru mm? the Tower of Rumination. I don't know why. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. It's not even that hard of a word. I don't know what's happening with me. So yeah, this prompt is to read a five star prediction. So yeah, for this I picked It Happened One Autumn by Lisa Klepes. Lisa Klepes is generally a five star author for me. She just she just hits me. She just hits me in the feels like every single time and mm, I just love it. I gave the first book in the series, I think I gave the first book in the series like 4.5 stars, like very very close to a 5 star but I think this one will like actually hit that place and it'll be a 5 star. So this book for that prompt and then we have our last novice path prompt. We haven't gone into our character prompts. But this is our last novice path prompt and for this it is Aurelium Academy and it is school setting. So for this I picked The Mistake because this is a, you know, a book that's set in college. So it is a school setting. But a lot of these prompts kind of, a lot of these books like interchange with each other. Like even Her Soul to Take has a school setting in it. And you know, the Maidens have a school setting in it, Gothicana has a school setting in it. So, you know, 
I wanted to put in a contemporary in here just in case I got like bogged down by all of the spookiness, which I don't see that happening because, you know, I do get to, I get in the mood, like, you know, in the fall, I really want to read all the spooky books, but I just kept in this in here just in case it is a very short one. But yeah. So yeah, these are all the books that I picked for the Magical Rithon TBR. We also have a few ebooks in here that I don't own physically. But yeah, it's not, the stack is not looking too bad. Also, uh, we only have to read two books. We only have to fulfill like two prompts to like fulfill the novice path. So it's not too, too bad. But yeah, I wanted to pick like a whole TBR because I like, I like making TBRs. So that's how it's looking. So let's get into our character prompt. So I don't really have to read these books this month, but yeah. We have four character prompts, and the first character prompt was either are you an urban, are you from like an urban setting or a wild lake? So are you a city person or like a wild lake? I picked urban because as much as I liked the, you know, as much as I liked the concept of being a wildling, like I know in my heart that I'm a city dweller. So I picked uh, It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey for this one because our main character in this one is definitely a city girl. And even though this is like kind of set in like a far off, like kind of wilderness town, um, I still think this counts as urban. So well, It Happened One Summer for the urban the urban city setting the next prompt was i think the region that you're from i picked dark meadow and for this one i have to read a dark academia book and for this i picked the last graduate by naomi novik this is a sequel to the deadly education and i read the deadly education last year and i absolutely loved it it was one of my favorite books of last year i really 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 loved it so I'm really excited for this one, but it doesn't really release in India until October. So if I, if it was like, you know, if I was able to get the physical copy to myself in September, I would have read it in September, but in India, things kind of get delayed, especially with publishing. So I'm not going to be able to get this book until October. So that's why it's on the character prompt. So I don't, since I don't have to read all of these books this month. The next one is like basically what your, you know, what creature you are. For this, I picked like, I want to be like half earthling, half Illyrian, Illyrian. So I, you know, because like I, I couldn't choose between those two. So earthling is to read a book with elemental magic or like an element in the title. And I think nature of witches by rachel griffin is perfect for this prompt because this definitely deals with elemental magic i think this basically is like each season like the witches are like different seasons like there are like spring witches and summer witches and these witches can control the weather and stuff but i think our main character is like an ever witch and she can control all of the seasons so yeah, I don't really know too much about the plot. I think there's like a little bit of romance in here, but I don't know. I'm not like holding on. I'm not like holding on hope for the romance because this is a YA and it's not really marketed as a romance. So I don't know about that, but it does sound very interesting. And the cover is just very, it's very like velvety and soft. And the undercover is also very beautiful. I actually got this book in a book box, but yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. So yeah, this book, this book for the Earthling prompt. The next, the next and last prompt for the Magical Readathon is the Illyrian prompt, which is to read a book with a crow on the cover or title or a red cover. And for this one, I picked... Silver Silence by Helenini Singh. This is definitely a very red cover. And yeah, I already talked about this book. So Silver Silence by Helenini Singh for the Illyrian prompt. 
so yeah that is all for the magical romance magical romance that's not what the title is that is all for the magical readathons tbr Ooh. oops okay Ooh. this is how the tbr is looking like oops. so this is how the tbr is looking like um not too bad since i don't have to read some of these books this month but yeah, I'm still really excited about all of these books, so we shall see what is in store for us. Okay, now we're back. We're on the last leg of this readathon. And um, we are going to do Becca's Bookopolis prompts. So I'll just enter in the clips here of me rolling and getting the prompts so yeah let's go and do that hello everybody so today we'll be doing the bookopoly rolls and since I don't have any dice we'll be using an online dice and for the little player number I'm just using a little playing piece I actually use this in the actual spread and I had an extra one so I'm gonna be using that since it's a really good size for it so yeah let's just go ahead and do the first roll oh I'm supposed to press both of them how do I do both of them Wow <laughs> That's a double. Well, I was going to do five rolls, but I guess we're going to do six rolls. Uh, sorry. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, mood read. Not okay, so our first prompt is a mood read. And this is really fun because like I can just pick whatever I want throughout the month. I'm not going to pick a book right now. Um, so I'm just going to let this go and like I'll pick throughout the month whatever I'm in the mood for. And I'll just put this book here. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. History. The second prompt is history, and for this, um, since I don't want to add too many books to my TBR, I think I'm going to keep It Happened One Autumn for this prompt, because this is a historical romance. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, a chance. Oh god, I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, the next prompt is chance. I really did not want to get this prompt. Um, I didn't make any chance cards or community shelf cards because like technically like my, my TBR chest and my prompts that I make for my TBR game kind of like act as the same thing is basically just prompts and your TBR books. So yeah, let's just get in here and hope for the best that I pick a book that I actually want to read this month. Oh, oh no. What is that? Dreaming of you. Oh, Wait. I think that's a Lisa Klepez novel. Another Lisa Klepez, Dreaming of You. Okay, this is not too bad. This is actually not that bad. I have been wanting to read this book for a while. Um, I also have the audiobook for this. So that's good. And yeah, so this is a historical romance novel. This is about Derek Craven, and this is also a very beloved and hyped historical romance. 
very hyped Lisa Claypa's romance. This is, a, this is one of, like, it's a crowd favorite for a lot of people. It is between Derek Craven and Sarah Fielding. So I think Sarah Fielding is a author. And she goes to Derek Craven, who is this club owner. Like, he, oh, he owns this, like, really, you know, shady gambling hell and she like goes to his gambling hell to like get inspiration for her novel i think and derek craven's like what the fuck what's happening like you know why are you here you're not supposed to be here <laughs> um but yeah i heard this was like a really really good book so i'm excited for this i'm actually i'm i'm not mad i'm actually not mad i was i was scared for a second like i was scared but I'm not mad. Thank you. Thank you, Bogopoli. <laughs> five. One, two, three, four, five. Last color. Interesting. The next prompt is last color, which is very interesting because the last book that I read was... What did I read? I read Archangel's Storm and it's a gray cover and it has blue wings on it. I think for this one I'm going to pick It Happened One Autumn because it is very blue. It does have blue on the cover. And that's all. Four. One, two, three, four. Disability plus mental health rep. Okay. Okay. The next prompt is disability plus mental health rep. And this one, I'm actually... I truly am stumped because I did read a lot of... I did read a few of these books like last month, like I had read a few books that had like deaf representation, like Annie's song had deaf representation in it. I should be reading With You Forever by Chloe Lee because that also has a lot of, um, it has autistic representation and I think the heroine also has a chronic illness. I'm Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. The next book is Most Recent Purchase. Ooh. What was my most recent purchase? I think Silver Silence is my most recent purchase because this just came in like a few days ago. And yeah, I think I'll be reading this one for Most Recent Purchase. So yeah, before I dropped all my books on the floor, this is how my Bookopoly TBR is looking. Not too bad. I think uh, we also have like two ebooks here that I need to read, but not looking too bad. I think I'll be able to read these books. So now let's just do a whole stack. So these are all of the physical books that I have to read and I also have a bunch of ebooks that I have to read. So I don't think it looks too bad. I am excited about a lot of these books. So yeah, I hope you liked today's video. I'm sorry if it was really long, but we did have to like fit in like three TBR games in this video. So I hope you liked it anyway. Give it a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Do check out my bullet journal video where I do a whole plan with me of all of the spreads that I did this month. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!